for joining me, Kate Harrison, here in Abergavenny, South Wales, for the British Road Race National Championships. Today, the women will ride an 80-mile race, which is one large circuit, two laps around that, finishing it in Abergavenny for two finishing circuits. World and Olympic champion Nicole Cook will be defending her British title today. Other challengers include Emma Pooley and Lizzie Amitstead. course it's got hills in but it's just I, I just saw that the men's course goes up the tumble which is a real really hard climb and I just thought it's funny that they have a different course to us you know if it's why don't they race on our course or we race on their course <laughs> so. to be honest I just want to yeah to see what I can do today it's n no big pressure my season doesn't start till October okay, so I've been doing quite a bit of racing in Belgium and Holland and France so we'll see what my legs have got in the day and see what happens yeah many people think that you're the outside bet to win this today what do you think about that I think that's a huge compliment um, I think you know I've got nothing to lose in this race which is my biggest strength and, yeah hopefully I can do something Let's take a look at the course that the riders face today. 80 miles, two laps of the large circuit, two laps of the finishing circuit in Abergavenny. Emma Pooley would rather the race went up the tumble, but at the end of the day, there's still some pretty hard climbs on this course and it is sure to produce a very, very good race. We've had the opportunity to hear from four of what are considered the pre-race contenders we see Emma Pooley signing on 34 riders taking the start and world and Olympic champion Nicole Cook on her home roads resplendent in her world champions jersey in the center of the starting grid a huge crowd turning out to watch these riders as they ride out of Abergavenny a neutralized section signified by the red and white flag and then the racing will get underway in earnest it is a huge crowd there are many of the fans of Nicole Cook by the roadside and lots of flags with her name on them so she is going to be cheered all the way around the 80 miles right we're heading now towards the race start Cook on the front Lizzie Armistead I think is going to shadow her if she can all the way around this 80 mile course and a run out there from uh, Abergavenny, a huge uh, crowd, but also a huge uh, smile on Nicole Cook's uh, face because it must be, she must be so proud of the World Championships jersey and local roads. But straight away we've got an attack in the left hand side. Well, we've got one of the riders from the 100% uh, Me team. Looks like Alex Greenfield has decided to stretch her legs a little bit, and uh, it's a long, long way to go to the finish line. We are only about a mile into the race, and Alex Greenfield's decided, right, I'm going to get rid of everybody. So we'll see what happens here. A young rider riding for this 100% Me team, which is the uh, British Olympic Academy, and back in the peloton, the pace is nice and steady. Yeah, a good uh, quality peloton here in the uh, British Championships and Nicole Cook will have a, have a tough race ahead of her to uh, win for the 10th time. 80 miles over tough roads and uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for her. She's got to be remain vigilant because she can't let too many people go up the road. This is OK for her, one rider on her own, uh, but uh, the bunch just riding along at a sedate pace at the moment. We can see the blue sky in the background, a few clouds around, and we've got an attack now. A rider just uh, pedalling away off the front, and still Alex Greenfield is the lone attacker, but the peloton is vigilant to everything else that is going on. And here we have a move. This looks like it is the rider who rides for the Italian squad. This is Catherine Williamson who's decided again very early on, we're only a couple of miles into the race, to try and go across and she's about to catch Alex Greenfield. So this is an interesting move so early. Yeah, she's decided to hit out early. She knows that uh, she's up against some uh, good competition today. Nicole Cook is happy that uh, you know to, to trundle along here with her, her teammates round about her. Nicole having two teammates in this race, so they're going to be used up if uh, any more riders decide to go on the attack. Nicole Cook who started her Vision 1 racing team and they are halfway through their first season. They've got big aspirations for 2010. 
Cole will, of course, defend that World Championship title later on in the year. But Catherine Williamson looks now like she's left Alex Greenfield and has decided to go it alone, which is a very interesting move because we have about 77 miles left to go to the finish. Here come the peloton. They're going to catch Alex Greenfield. That will leave one rider in front. Yeah, you would expect the, the two riders to stay together because uh, two is better than one. But you can just see the group is uh, chasing behind. They haven't got a great advantage. And, uh, you know, the rider at the front just up the tempo a bit, as we see her now, uh, just up in the tempo and really want to try and, uh, you know, push this advantage out. And it's just too much for the other rider who dropped back. We notice there that she's lost the top off her bottle here. That's going to cause a problem. Most of that water is going to disappear on the uh, bumpy roads as we now see a move from Emma Pooley into the first climbs of the day and Williamson is still ahead. She's opened up a little bit of an advantage. It's yo-yoed between two and three minutes, but it's steadily coming down. Emma Pooley, what a fantastic competitor. She is a silver medalist in the Olympic Games and normally helps Nicole Cook, but this time she's trying to leave her behind. Well, this is what she has to do in any of these claims. She has to try and soften everybody else up. And Armistead's tried to go with her there and just uh, let uh, Nicole Cook come through uh, past her to try and uh, close the gap. But you can see Nicole Cook, the world champion, just slowly but surely um, trying to close that gap down. Not easy for her, but... It's no surprise that to Emma Pulley, every time the road is going to go uphill today, she's going to go on the attack. Well, we've covered uh, around about 20 miles of this race now, as we see Catherine Williamson. She's riding very, very strongly, particularly in the climbs, as we uh, take a look at her there. You may know her, if you're a fan of cycling, as Catherine Hare. She got uh, married, so now Catherine Williamson rode previously for the Great Britain team in things like the Women's Tour de France, so she's got a good pedigree. As we look here at Emma Pooley leaving behind Lizzie Armistead and Nicole Cook, is this going to be Emma Pooley's day? Well, she's uh, struck out, and uh, we said just earlier that uh, you know, the world champion Nicole Cook was struggling a wee bit to close that gap down. It's, she has got the help of Armistead, and the two of them are combining well together to bring Pooley back. But maybe if this, uh, you know, this drag here, this hill would have been uh, two, three, four times as long, it just suited uh, Emma Pooley. But that's what she has to do. She has to go out there, keep attacking, keep attacking as well as it takes a bottle. It's. Uh, can be very hot out there even for the woman. Well I don't know if this was her pre-race plan that she would be out on her own for so long. She takes some water on that will replace the bottle that uh, had the uh, top taken off and she's now taking a few gels as well so she's being helped along a little bit here. So Nicole Cook, Emma Pooley and Lizzie Armistead, the uh, young pretender I think we could call her sitting on the back there. She's a talented young rider and bear in mind uh, she is, I guess, uh, the youngest rider in this group without any shadow of a doubt. She was discovered by the British talent team when they visited her school at uh, when she was just 16 years of age. And she didn't even own a bike then. And look at the experience she's now got. You can just see Williamson just up ahead. She's only got about 100 metres. But who do think the three riders tip for this uh, race today? Armistead, Pooley and uh, Nicole Cook, the world champion there in the white, uh, catching up now with the Williamson. So four riders in the lead in this women's championship. So we are uh, changing the shape of the race at the front as Williamson. They've caught her at perfect time because we're on the descent. I think if they were on a climb, she may well have been uh, jettisoned straight out the back of the leading group. But we now have the four riders at the front and uh, the pace is uh, pretty hot now, and Nicole Cook leading the charge at the front.